Can you use a regular size cargo van to do gig work? Today you're gonna find out. It's me, K, and I'm back with another video. Make sure you put me on your big screen video. Y'all see it, we gonna get right into it. This is a 2021 Mercedes Sprinter van 2500. 144 wheelbase with the standard roof. I'm gonna show you I'm the truth. So, we gonna go ahead and get into it. Here's your space right here. Just so you guys know, this joint can fit two pallets in here. And the height of it is only 61 inches, so you're gonna have to cross down a little bit. But the question is always, I always get this question. Can you use a standard cargo van to do gig work? We're gonna find out. We want the money, not the cloud. Again, this is only 61 inches of height. Um, with the high roof, you're gonna get 73 inches. <laughs> Y'all see it, baby. It doesn't have the bulkhead, doesn't have anything. This is the basic standard Mercedes Sprinter van 2021 about to go out here and get it done let's get it so just so you guys know we're gonna do multiple types of different orders we need to see if you go out there and get an order with this van so we're gonna do some roadie orders we actually have a uh direct booking from a client we're gonna pick up a love sofa and we're also gonna do some curry curry we're gonna do a lot of orders we have to go ahead and get an order just so you guys know we have been living with this van for two days because smoke is in the shop right now we gotta get some brakes some oil change and we had to go ahead and do our thing and get this change now orders one and two is both on roadie 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 with a dab ranch both of them are roadie orders we're about to go ahead and get an order and they're from two different stores both pickup locations is home depot we're trying to stack these chips like pringles order number one we are picking up 19 bins we're going to drive six miles for 4674 we love uh, running to this dough and order number two we're going to pick up a bathtub that weighs 75 pounds drive four miles for 45 48 I'm about to pull up and get this cake let's go y'all see what's going on oh the doors don't open up all the way like ours do like they don't open they don't fold all the way out they just open like this but it's, it's all good we ain't complaining we maintain it we gotta get this changing bingo y'all see it baby we got the bins we are here about to get it in we got the bins and we in the bins right there Y'all see, we got this joint bungeed up. Now it's time for us to pull up so we can get our money up. Let's go. We are here at the drop off, trying to knock their socks off. So we're gonna put the first one right here. Bye -bye. Turn it this way. Second trip off the rip. Shout out to little flip. Oh, that right there. Turn like this. Y'all already know what time it is. Comment below and let me know. Y'all know what we here to do. <coughs> Y'all know what we here to do. Step back in with the photo. Y'all already know those. Smack. We gone. Second store, Home Depot again. We are here to win and get these dividends. Let's see if they got this joint ready. Hopefully I don't gotta go to the back. Hopefully it's right up here. So we can get in the clear. You did. How you doing, boss? I have a roadie order to pick up. Order to pick up? Yes, sir. Um, WJ yeah. 59 46 39 10. Okay. Yes, sir. Lay it down, lay it down. I ain't even, I'm gonna put a little bungee on this, John. We're gonna pull up and get it on. And just like that, it's game time. We're about to pull up and get on the grind. We love to shine. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at the drop off. Turning out they suck, so we're trying to ball like hot sauce. We're going to lean this back on the basketball rim. <coughs> lean back. Y'all see it. I know. Y'all see. I ain't want to block their garage. Step back in with the photo. You already know them. Smack. We go. Order number three. We about to pull up and get some of this cheese, baby. We have a direct booking from a customer. We've done, a, we picked up a couch for her before. And we're picking up another couch right now. It's actually a love seat. It's a two-seater love seat. We're going to drive 24 miles and receive a payment of 150. We're about to pull up and get a grip G. Let's go. The thing about it is. Sometimes the worst thing to happen to you is the best thing to happen to you. Sometimes you it be critical because it, it get bad right now, but it's just a moment. Yeah, That's it. You can't get comfortable nowhere neither. That's so what I'm like, saying. You got to move around. Yeah, I got to move on my floor. Yeah, you can go straight up. 
Now you run up his bag on the other end. It's the end of You feel me? Keep it you been up. making money on top of money. I'm man, hey, to hey, you hey, again, it was man. good to see you, baby. Y'all all see it. Got the couch in here. Y'all already know what time it is. Step back in with the photo. Y'all already know those. We gone. Guess what? Instead of 150, we actually got 165. She gave us these dollars. Fifteen dollars. So we can go out here and pop our collar. Order number four. We're about to pull up and uh, go get it popped like Crisco. We are doing another roadie, roadie, roadie with a double ranch. We are doing another roadie order. Pick up location, Home Depot. We are picking up 26 boxes of flooring, two things of moldings. We are going to drive. 4.8 miles for 46.11. Don't forget to thank the Lord for your blessings. We run into this money when you're stressing. Let's go. We are here at Home Depot so we can stack these chips like Pringle. We have to pick up 26 things of flooring and two things of molding. Trying to get our pockets on swollen. You dig? Good morning. How you doing? I have a roadie order to pick up. What number? Um, H 1907 32. 4137. You guys, you guys have a good one. Yes, sir. Right here. Lay it down, lay it down. You lay it down, lay it down, lay it down. Lay it down, man. And just like that, it's time for us to pull up so we can run it up. Hello, I'm here with your uh, Home Depot order. Yes, okay, great. <laughs> One, it's time to pull up and get the job done on curry, 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 curry. We are picking up 10 humidifiers that weighs eight pounds a piece. We're gonna drive three and a half miles for 4408. You about to pull up and be great. Let's go. And just like that, it's time for us to pull up so we can run it up. Let's get it. And we are here at the drop off. How you doing, boss? All right, how are you? I have a drop off to you guys from John Stone. Are you Johnny? Yep. Oh, okay. I just spoke to you on the phone. All right, you guys have a good one. So we came, we saw, we conquered, we went bonkers. You find you guys finally found out if you can use a standard roof sprinter van. You don't need the 170 wheel base or you do not need the high roof to go out there and be the truth. You don't need any of that stuff to go out there and do the gear gaps for the most part. Now, just so you guys know, it can fit two pallets in here and you can also fit them some run pallets in here if you got some run in your area with no problems at all. Now, um, other than that, pretty much everything you're gonna pick up for the most part, if you're doing gig work, you can fit this stuff in a van so you can go out there and get them bands. That's what I think. Comment below and let me know what you think. Also, shoot shout out to my guy, Pat Gig Tainment. I think he has a Ford Transit 250 with the low roof or regular roof. And he's out there getting busy too, making 300, 400, 500 a day and all that stuff. So he out there going crazy. So huge shout out to him. So you guys can use a regular standard size van. You do not need the high roof. Uh, but I do recommend if you're going to be going over the road and all that stuff, you probably want to get the uh, biggest and tallest uh, van you can get because you're going to be uh, probably moving way more freight than if you had this van. The bigger the vehicle on the road, if you're going over the road, the bigger the vehicle, the more money you're going to make. So keep that in mind while you're out there in the grind. We'll be out there to shine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before we go, throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section below if you're a part of the crew. You already know what we're here to do. We're here to get busy. One more thing. If you're not subscribed, now is your chance. Hey, we're getting closer and closer. I told you guys before, I'm giving away over $1,000 when we get to 100,000 subscribers. If you want your chance to win some of them dividends, you must be subscribed. I'll see you on the next one. It's time to slide. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. DDK, and I'm on my way.